for this session, just want to make sure I have your, is it okay if I just record? Because you know, some of the things I want to get into, I want to just kind of have for, yeah, for reference for later. Sure. All right, cool. Just, I always ask permission. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. But, you know, one, one of the big things, you know, we've been, we started the first week of May. Yep. And so now we're about to, we're going into August 2020. So I'm just curious, what's the difference overall in the Justin Richards experience before basic instructions and where you are now? Like, how does life feel? It uh, pretty much right out of the damn gate blew my mind. Like, it's been fantastic, which has been really, really good. And I'm happy uh, about that. That was, a, that was an investment I was really worried about just because, you know, burned a couple times. Yeah. And so, but dude, it's, it's, I'm crushing it, man. Just, I don't even know that I really believed some of the stuff in the beginning. Like if that's, that's probably the most God, God that's God's honest truth right there. I just was like, I, I know I can do the numbers. I don't know how I'm going to hit some of these other things that I put into play. And I am well beyond what I expected to have done in some of those areas. I, I mean, I really did. I, I was like, yeah, okay. I'm going to, I guess I, I've, I've worked with some really great professional coaches before and those got me to a point and applying this on top of that, it was like, it was like strapping a rocket ship to, to, to what I'm doing. Right. And the thing that kept up that was missing in prior engagements was that I still had all the other shit up here, right? So clearing all that crap out. I mean, that, the funny thing is, is I almost associate getting rid of the, the team with um, um, our breakthrough session. Like, just get it all the fuck out. So that's it. I mean, there's not really a better way to explain it than that. It's just the, all of those things kind of right in that same timeline, gone, get out, you know, you've served your purpose time to go do something else. And now that I'm, those are clear. Now I'm having a little more fun. You know, it's funny. I think the thing that, that has come back to me is from a couple of different people is that damn dude, your attitude is different. You handled that situation differently. You didn't lose your shit on that person over whatever, right? Pick, pick any number of different things that other people have seen about me that I probably wouldn't have picked up on on my own. And getting that feedback has been a rewarding, but also um, it made me pay closer attention. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, but man, I feel good. The funny thing is, is closing that door was another thing for me in cl closing out that shit that I didn't want, which right. has probably been the most rewarding piece of all of this. If I was to give you an answer that might be helpful to something is is just i mean think about some of the doors that that have not, not closed in a bad way but but uh in a good way really would be past bullshit um some drama with with uh actually employees all all of that stuff coach former coach um fuck debt stuff um deep, bad deals bad relationships in general like there's so many things that are just over here now that have no fucking they don't mean anything yeah. Right. They happen. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, that's, but think about that. I mean, I was living in that and that was just swirling around in here for, you know, and what, and, uh, along with many, many, many other things. Uh, and that shit's just not there. Like my headspace is super clear, super clear. That's, that's that to me cool. is life changing. So, I mean, another, you know, one of the big things, especially just because of the work I do with real estate agents is, you know, I want to talk specifically about, basic instructions and how that's improved, you know, Keller Williams, Bellevue, Washington, or Integra, you know, I don't, I'm not sure which, you know, but you know, how has it improved business? Like is the work we've been doing, has it improved business? Cause that's at the end of the day, that's what we're offering this for. You know, and to me, obviously social media and everybody being connected, you know, I'm seeing, you got lists, you got business going on. So just, I only post, I, I, I don't even post most of the stuff up there anyway, just so I'm not obnoxious to people. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, it, so, but the work we've been doing, the numbers, the measurables, the bottom line, you got more listings, you got more sales. I mean, yep. I'm, I guess I'm asking rhetorically. Sure. So No, absolutely. Abs the answer is yes. And it's more of the stuff that I want to do. 
I think that I feel good, about, not, not I think, I know I feel good about the numbers where they're at right now. Um, I was a little worried about it last month um, as far as like actually hitting that number, but I actually think at this point I'll, I'll exceed it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to me, it's always about, you gotta remember that it's a business, you know, we'll make sure we continue to grow. And we always have you know, deep discussions, jokes, laughs, but at the end of the day, man, about my about my money <laughs> you know and that's 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 life so mm -hmm. it's important to me to make sure that you know what you guys are doing keller williams that everything is that what we're doing is beneficial yep. to the bottom line that's yep. that's the important thing that i just wanted to make sure that i'm that i'm giving to you so yep. so you know with work-life balance you know you know especially talking about amanda mm -hmm. you know, your daughter you know, the work we've been doing since May, you know, how has that affected work-life balance? Like, how is the overall get up every day? How does that feel? Well, my, my work has, I mean, I'm, I'm in the office almost every day. For me, like when I'm in California, because I've gone down there a couple times, and I still get to, I still do whatever I need to go do. And then I'm out having a good time with my daughter and have, you know, and that's great. I was like, this, this, it shocked me to be able to put some of these things in play as quickly as I did. One is that I would say in some way it's forged a closer friendship with some of my close friends, which is great. I love that. So, I mean, I feel balanced if that's at the end of the day. Yeah. So, you feel good about, you feel good about the way things are. Obviously. For as fucking weird as they are right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's just, just want to make sure that with everything that's going on in the world and this date, July 28, 2020, you know, where are we at? We've been going at this since the first week in May. I want to make sure we're continuing to move towards. And so allowing me to get, allowing myself, I guess, to get more specific about what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it was a big factor for me versus, you know, when I, when I had other people working with and for me, I was doing very little of what I wanted to do. It was also, it was horribly stressful. So, you know, I'm just curious you know, working with other agents and people who are questioning, you know, the, the value of what I do with basic instructions for other real estate agents that are looking to improve their business with coaching. What would you say to them about the value of basic instructions and LP coaching, like the work that we've done and how that's helped as far as your career as a real estate agent? I think that, I think that being able to clear everything out, because you, even when we met in, in Utah, man, it was, it, it made so much sense to me what you were talking about. I was like, that's it. Got it. How in the f do I do this? Right. Mm -hmm. And so for me, as far as my business is concerned, I have a really clear direction on where I'm going now. Why, why at the moment it's a short term, it's a short term target, which is great goal. Right. But for me being able to close that and kick its ass in a great way is huge for me. Right. right. So for, for, if I was, if, if another, if an agent was to ask me, um, you know, would I, would I do this again? And the answer is obviously yes. I think the answer is almost uniformly. It's a, it's a good investment for anybody to, to, to make uh, as long as they're prepared to commit to it. 